Hi, good day, and welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are teaming together at Escape Forever Free to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. I'm so happy that you have joined us. If you're coming for the first time, I invite you to go ahead, click the bell icon, and subscribe. Stay with the family as we provide support for each other. As we continue to build on our other areas of spiritual and mental um, wholeness, we continue to pray each other up. Do pray me up so I can have the discipline and strength to continue to invest and to share with you in this journey. This is our Kickstart devotional video where we are committing to build the healthy habit of spending one hour alone time with God. So this gives you the push start and you continue for one hour each and every day, you and God alone. So you can truly know who God is. And through that relationship, through that knowing, come to a loving relationship that with him. And so surrender will not be so difficult and painful for most of us. I pray that somebody through this little experience, this little, this little support group will truly come to surrender all to God. Let us go into our devotional now as we give you the kickstart to do your one hour alone time with God. Let us pray to begin. Holy Father, you are holy and righteous. You are worthy of every praise. Oh God, if we should refuse to praise you, the rocks would cry out. And this is not some little mythical story. This is truth. Oh God, as we come now, we search for undivided, for undiluted truth. Divide the word of truth to us, dear God, and share to us equally as we will need to, Father, find our way to you. We surrender everything into your hands now. Bless the word that we take on, Father, and may we be edified through it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We go into our memory text, which um, kickstarts our first um, part of the reading. We have been practicing... Um, Hebrews 11 verse 8 trying to commit it to memory and today we recite it so Hebrews 11 verse 8 by faith Abraham when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out not knowing whither he went I think we did get it correctly. Let's read it. Hebrews 11 verse 8. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing whither he went. We glorify God for helping us to truly commit this um, text to memory. I hope you were able to recite it honestly as well. And I pray that God will help us to recall it in due season to glorify his name and edify your soul as we continue to share the gospel message with the whole world person by person. All right, so we now go into the devotional guide for today. It continues to come to us for from um, Maranatha devotional guide. And this morning is entitled Historical Persons Present at the Judgment. So it's among the sharing from the visions of Ellen G. White and her impressions from the same. So this key text, the key text rather, for this morning's devotional guide comes to us from Isaiah 45 verses 23 to 24. And they read, I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear surely shall one say in the lord have i righteousness and strength even to him shall men come and all that are increased against him shall be ashamed all right so there we have it the reading connected to our devotional or devotional now reads Amid the ransomed throng are the apostles of Christ, the heroic Paul, the ardent Peter, the loved and loving John, and their true-hearted brethren, and with them the vast host of martyrs, while outside the walls, with every vile and abominable thing, 
are those by whom they were persecuted, imprisoned, and slain. There is, there is Nero, the monster of cruelty and vice, beholding the joy and exaltation of those whom he tortured, and in those extremist anguish he found satanic delight. His mother is there to witness the result of her own work, to see how the evil stamp of character transmitted to her son, the passions encouraged and developed by her influence and example, and how they have borne fruit and crimes that caused the world to shudder. There is the proud, ambitious Napoleon, whose approach had caused kingdoms to tremble. There are papists, priests, and prelates who claimed to be Christ's ambassadors, yet employed the rack, the dungeon, and the stake to control the consciences of his people. There are the proud pontiffs who exalted themselves above God and presumed to charge the law of the to change rather the law of the most high those pretended fathers of the church have an account to render to God from which they would fain be excused too late they are made to see the omniscient one is jealous of his law that he in no wise that he in no wise clear the guilty they learn now that christ identifies his interests with his interests with that of his suffering people and they feel the force of his own words St. Matthew 25 verse 40 is what comes in as much as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren ye have done it unto me so the whole wicked world stands arraigned at the bar of God on the charge of high treason against the government of heaven they have none to plead their cause they are without excuse and the sentence of eternal death is pronounced against them this morning is a devotional reading that gives us a glimpse at what will happen as the judgment rolls on in full and complete finality historical persons who will be present and will witness and will respond as isaiah 45 um, um prophesies in the verses 23 onward if not the entire chapter of the fact that every eye not only shall see him but every knee shall bow and every tongue confess even as far as swear that he is good he is great he is marvelous he is righteous he is god and he has been just to all of us oh that we might be ready to be among the saints when these witnessing moments come so that our joy and salvation will be full with overflowing and our sorrows will be taken away may we be encouraged and not driven to fear or discouragement as we put our feet and our hands to the work and allow the holy spirit to guide them into being among the saints let us now go to our motivational hymn as we think upon these things and reflect upon entering into heaven number 246 is the hymn that we've been committing to memory worthy worthy is the lamb we will do stanza one from this hymn Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. 
that was slain. Glory, hallelujah. Praise him, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. To who the Lamb. Let us pray. Holy and righteous Father, we thank you for another occasion that we can come to learn about the Lamb and the heaven that he is preparing for us. Oh God, we thank you for your loving mercy as you join with the Son, oh God, in making heaven our home for all of us who are willing to come into heaven. Oh Father, may we all work, Father, with humbled hearts and surrendered minds and, in, and even our entire being being surrendered so father we can be ready to enter into this great place oh god father may we now confess you before men father so that when you come in heaven father you can identify us as your well sought after jewels who you have invested in jesus christ through your sacrificial debt and your exemplary life when you came to this earth oh father that we may, Father, truly be faithful and find ourselves in Canaan when you come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, we thank you again for this day. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known and always acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Walk good, but above all, walk with God and speak the language of Canaan as you continue to reflect upon heaven going into the Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to you when it comes at Friday, sunset, wherever you are. May God empower you to continue to speak the language of Canaan, think upon Canaan, and do the things of spiritual Canaan as we prepare to enter our new and ready, joyful home in heaven. Happy Sabbath when it comes and do honor it to the end. Blessings and honor be unto Jesus now and forevermore. Walk good, but above all, please continue to walk with God.